Welcome back to Patman Garage. The garage is a disaster right now. Uh, as I pointed out at the end of the last video, that Chevy truck outside is getting a motor put in it. Um, so there's one 5.3, and there's another 5.3 here. Getting over to, overrun by GM parts, but <laughs> we'll get through it eventually. Uh, but more importantly, today is Fiddy's birthday. She turns 20 years old today, so happy birthday, Fiddy. Uh, we got some... Uh, 520 oil we're gonna put in it and uh, do oil change do oil change oil filter I have a another coyote swap related part I'm gonna install real quick while I have the truck up in the air so let's get this started uh, we'll open up the garage door and get the truck up high enough where we can get underneath it Sorry, I'm out of shape. I'm <laughs> huffing and puffing after lifting the truck up. Uh, so we're going to slide under here. Take a look at our drain pan, our drain bucket. And see my notes there. It's a 17 millimeters. I'll have to go get a different wrench. Uh, but we'll pull the filter off. Looks like we got a little drip of oil on it. Nothing crazy there. I'm not sure where that came from. Maybe just the filter itself. Uh, so we'll get the filter cracked and get the right wrench for that. Got it cracked loose with the wrench here. We'll pull the drain plug out. And you may recall there's a magnet built onto the end of the drain plug, so we shouldn't lose it. Nice clean one-year-old oil and unlike my 2018 this truck doesn't burn oil so we should be uh, should be totally fine full capacity here but uh, I'm gonna get a wrench and we'll start loosening the filter up and let this thing drain down all right we got oil filter loosened and draining and we're gonna let this thing We'll let this thing sit up for a little while and just drain and drain and drain. And it'll give us time to get back up top and take a peek at our catch can. So we'll disassemble that dude and clean it out, see what we got in it. So, so right here on top we have our Ford Performance catch can. So I'm gonna disconnect my two lines and then I'll pull the, the uh, actual catch can off of the bracket. And that way we can take it to the bench and disassemble it. Um, so it's a little bit of a pain to drain it compared to some of the aftermarket options, but I like it that it fits and tucks in real nice compared to some of the aftermarket options. So it uh, clips right onto the factory valve cover. And these two clips up here. And uh, like I said, uses factory style PCV hoses and all that. So we'll get, we'll get this thing taken, taken apart and see what we got in it. All right, I got this hose disconnected, and I got this hose disconnected, so we'll pull our two clips out, which are just kind of a uh, two-pin relationship there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set you all down so I can do this without losing those clips. Uh, but we'll get this thing out of the truck and disassembled here. And uh, here's our new filter. It's a Wix filter. Um, I order them on Summit, and I just wait until I... Have something else on order so I don't have to pay shipping just for the filters because um, I'm always buying some kind of parts uh, so we'll get the new filter thrown in there and then do the drain plug real quick as well all right get the filter off of here finish let it draining So we'll have to do some more thorough draining of it, but for now we'll just set it off to the side. We've got a new filter put in there. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a full drain bucket with the 2018 that burns about two quarts every 5,000 miles or so, or somewhere between two and three quarts every 5,000 miles. It's so nice actually getting the correct amount out of it. <laughs> uh, we can definitely confirm that. When we get done, we'll pour it out into... into uh, the, the the buckets the new or the jugs the new oil came in 
and we'll find out for sure. But we're gonna go drain the catch can now. So mostly oil, it wasn't really any, that I saw, it wasn't really any uh, water content, which is good. It's a good thing, we'll get this drip dry and wiped it out and then we'll reinstall it. Well, I went ahead and used some of the oil that was in the bottom of that to lubricate my o-ring. We'll get the lid put back on it. We're going to do start all the bolts like we always do before we start tightening anything down. Get them all started. We'll get this thing ready to get back on the truck. So wrapping up on oil change, I still need to clean up, but this is the thing we're going to install or underneath it is a heat wrap insulation for the starter. Um, so there's been a couple times in the really, really hot of summer, 100 plus ambient temps if I go out for an errand and park the truck for like three minutes, I get a lot of heat soak on the starter and have a extended cranking because uh, the starter, starter just doesn't have enough uh, RPMs with the how much heat it's got in it. So we're going to do a heat wrap on it. Hopefully that mitigates that in the future. Um, if not, worst case scenario is we protect the starter. So we're going to jump into slide under the truck and see if we can't get this wrap put on it. All right. So it looks like we got a hook Velcro on one side and we got the soft Velcro loops on the other side. So we just need to get it wrapped around the starter and then get the Velcro attached to it. Um, it's pretty infinite adjustment from that size you know all the way up so we'll do whatever makes sense once we get under there I just wanted you to see it out of the truck and it's a DEI uh, design engineering incorporated uh, bought it off summit so we'll slide under the truck and see what we got going on all right so with the truck being five inches off the ground and the, there's not, just not a whole lot of airflow under the truck when we stop. So, and the uh, the long tubes are sandwiched right up against the starter. So that's where we're getting that heat soak from, I believe. So we'll see what we can do to wiggle this dude in back behind it, bring it back over the top, and uh, see how this goes. Well, it's gonna be really hard to get. The camera in here and show you what I got going on but I got the uh, starter wrap pulling up and then I'm pulling down at the same time now I got it over the top so I got plenty of material lengthwise um, and it's, it's a tight squeeze up here um, so I'm gonna try to get it wrapped to a position where it's straight and flat as much as possible and then probably roll it until the excess kind of tucks itself around itself so that's the game plan oh, yeah starter wrap is wrapped around it i couldn't actually roll it the way i wanted it to so i ended up just double insulating going up the up the top that way um you, hopefully you can see me pointing not really but um ended up just getting it wrapped and tucked up there so it should work just fine and actually ends up where the double insulations towards the header side so that should be better as well so all right, so I got all the oil drained out into my buckets. I got four quarts in this one and four and a half, or may, maybe not quite five, four and a half at least on this side. So nearly everything out that we put in it uh, with nine quart capacity. So we are all back together, ready to take it out on the road. Well, got Fitty back tuck back in the garage it ended up being a wet drive basically as soon as i got out of the garage it started raining uh so we just w went over and got some dinner and came back but uh, i am gonna aim my headlights a little bit because they're they're pretty bad but uh, that's it for this video so stay tuned i do have a couple more videos of a couple of other fitty goodies that have been happening in the background i just haven't gotten to um and then like i said we talked about in november doing lmr and also looks like now there's going to be a Ford Trucks and Coffee event that same weekend as well. Um, so stay tuned. Lots more content coming your way. Um, if you saw my Instagram, I had a uh, 
post about <laughs> Fitty getting all wet in the rain. Uh, so Instagram is the same handle as as this channel is, Patman03 Super Crew or SPRCRW. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate you guys. Uh, leave me a comment. Say happy birthday, Fitty. Uh, here's to another 20 years. And uh, appreciate everything. I will catch you in the next one.